Hey guys, what's up, Synergy here, and we're bringing you a brand new video. This one's going to be Capture the Flag, and it's going to be a high ranks gameplay for all you guys, so it's mainly G10s that are in the lobby, and we're basically going to talk you through it as well at the same time. So, let's get into it. <coughs> you can see Brian the Badger is actually riding on my Titan at the minute, I brought in the Titan Cat. The Titan doesn't prove to be effective this time because what they're doing is they are actually defending quite well as well. So I'm here waiting for Brian to get on and Brian does get on. So there we go. We're going to bring the first one straight over to the base but you can see they're straight in our base with the Titan as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around, Brian's just disembarked and I'm going to add as much damage as I can onto the Titan that's attacking our base. Because one of the rules in Capture the Flag is you do not want the Titans to be up because they that will act as a teleport for the flag carriers for you and therefore they won't be very good. So there we go, we take this Titan out, he's forced into Nuke Jet so we're just going to back off him at the minute. We've got a pilot locking on us, you can see a pilot's just gone in for the flag right there. So what I'm doing is I'm actually just backing off a little bit. I'm watching where Brian is. Gonna jump on my Titan again. I'm just gonna protect him. He can jump off right now. And he's gonna go into the base and see if he can get that flag capture up. Unfortunately, I do think he gets a little bit stuck there. But he does pick up the capture anyway, and that's what counts. Okay. So as you can see, there is a pilot that's hanging around here, whether he's on the inside or the outside. We don't know. So, boss monster is basically going to be on our defensive duty, as you can see him there picking up a double kill with the G2A4 assault rifle. And he's basically going to be defending our flank for us, not allowing them to cap it as much as he possibly can as a one player defensive system. Okay, so Brian's going to go in for the flag again, and we're going to see if Brian can get onto my Titan. Unfortunately, he gets taken out by Sabre Squadrich, I think it is. So they have now switched to defensive as well. I'll just place the cluster in there because I'm just going to try and pick up any random cluster kills. Brian's going to move back in there, but he's going to be a little bit careful this time because he knows there is two players there. Unfortunately, he gets heart grenaded while Boss is still picking up the kills with that due to a 4 rifle in our base. See, the enemy has actually managed to get the flag at the minute. Boss Monster's just taken out another person. And there you go, he's defending. Just gonna help to take out this Titan that's hanging around our base. Little Titan punch, force him into the eject. Unfortunately, I don't think we pick up the art cannon kill there because we completely missed. But we do know exactly where he's gone and where that guy just shot us from. So the cluster missile actually picked up the kill on that one. Right, so we got an auto sighting at the back, so this is going to be a nice and easy kill for us, so all we need to do is just add damage, even though the auto titan's taken our shields down, we're just going to gradually damage by damage. There we go, titan punch, titan punch, one more punch, okay the titan's down, and squeeze the pilot out who ended up back in his titan, the damned moly. So we get the termination kill and all I'm doing at the minute is I'm just covering the backside with my Titan. Obviously I'm going to be susceptible to Rodeo Pilot at the minute, but that's what my electric smoke's for. So as soon as I do get Rodeo, that smoke will come down, as you see here for example. And because I've used my smoke, all I need to do now is back off a little bit, but we actually get the Titan electric smoke kill on the damned Morley yet again. Right, so we're still on 2 for nil. Brian's got the flag at the minute. 
Now like I said guys, these are the type of games that aren't a complete whitewash, so in other words they do give us a good game at the same time. I tried to take that pilot before he even manages to get into his tank. I tried to be sneaky here by getting the nuke eject kill, and boom, there you go. That's how you get the nuke eject kill if your titan's on low health and you know you can take a titan out like so. Do it, why not? Simple as that, better than leaving them with a full titan helpful. Okay, so I've just taken out Morley and I've actually got the flag at the minute, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this back to our base, but I'm going to be using a, a part where they won't be expecting you to actually go, you can see Inspector on the roof there, we're not worried about that, and that's how you clean cut a flag cap there. So you can see we're actually in a 4 on 6 situation at the minute guys, so it's 4 players versus 6, so this is a little bit harder for us to do. So what we've got to do is we've got to switch over and we've got to be a lot more defensive right now, because if we attack as a 4, chances are they're going to be able to get flag caps on our flags quite easily. <coughs> Do have a person connecting, I think they actually get stuck on the connecting screen. I'm actually using the Atlas Refurb card, it's a very smart thing to do, especially when you've got a number of pilots that outnumber yours. You see, Brian's going to be trying to take the flag, but he's going to be taken out pretty swift to be honest with you. There you go, you can see the art man actually takes him out. I got a Titan on me, but he's got the triple threat, so I wasn't worried about that Titan. You can see another human pilot going on the inside. Just pick up the kill right here, and then we go and take him out, which is molly, molly, molly. Another pilot, we can see just in there, and we take him out with the cluster missile kill. Right, so all I'm doing at the moment is I'm just looking out for pilots that are attacking the base and the pilots that are going to be a threat to actually take the flag. And you can see me take out Morley in the corridor. There. So I'm not actually going for the kills on this one, but I am going for kills defensively rather than attacking. And I'm also going to be in charge of taking out a lot of these titans as they come. Now, the faster they actually get Titans when they get the two-on-one situations is when it will become a lot harder for me to hold it down. Well, about halfway through the clip now, guys. Not got too long to go for you. So don't forget, if you do like the video, don't forget to leave a like on the video, comment it, leave a subscribe. You can even share the video if you like, guys. Every little helps, to be honest with you got over that 4k subscriber count guys I do thank everyone for all the support they've been giving me okay so we got a lot of uh, grenades there that were coming in you can see a titan right behind us but human pilot actually takes down our shields there what I'm going to do is I'm going to damage this titan as much as I can he's got the triple threat so I've got the upper hand <coughs> and I've just lost my voice okay so now this is what I mean about the two on one situations and the problem with that as well is I'm going to have the pilots locking so I've just got to be smart about this I've got to be using the titan effectively for like for example like a little stealth ninja like so and you can see we pick up an assist on Morley there, where Moss Monster actually takes him out with an art mine. I've just taken a big hit. Okay, so we're back in this place at the moment, and all I'm going to be doing is just going to be working on defending, really. Okay, we got another Titan to take out, so it's the Titan with the triple threat, which makes it a lot easier for me. Uh, you can see we just stepped on a human pilot who was going to end up rodeoing us as well. Just with the Titan punching, finish him off, unfortunately we get stuck in the smoke, and that's how my Titan gets taken down. Okay, so now that the Titan is taken down, all I'm going to do is I'm going to come across to this bridge right here, and you can see the capture flag right there. But that's not what I'm going for. Now this time I'm actually going to see if I can get a fourth one just to secure it, just to make sure it's a safety. 
and unfortunately I end up with a pilot behind me and then I get distracted by a grunt and a spectre and he comes around the other side and takes me out to so well played for Digital Bay. We're going to bring in the pull rank card and we're going to try and get that Titan up again for defensive reasons. Like I said guys, it was a major disadvantage for quite a long time, we were a 4 on 6. 4 pilots for 6. And it's a high ranks gameplay so it's not exactly like these pilots don't know what they're doing. So all I'm going to do there is I'm going to follow Kog out, you can see the capture flag there. He's just disembarked, we'll take out the second pilot there, we're going to ignore that Titan. We're going to see if we can get this flag back to the base. Unfortunately, I get shot just as I'm coming up the stairs. Some well played and motivated coma. Now, you're going to see a little bit of a tactic that I do use in this gameplay towards the end as well. Um, just to basically stop them from being able to get a single cap in the game. So the scores are on the scoreboard. Okay, so all I'm doing here is I'm just going to be working on helping to take these titans out, making sure they don't get an easy ride or anything like that. Fortunately, I just got Brody up myself. Not sure where the hell I am, and I believe my titan gets taken out here. So we're actually going to nuke a jet right in between those bubbles. It doesn't actually pick up the kill there, and we're stuck in smoke, the smoke will take us down. Now you can see this is where it becomes a little bit more competitive, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to presume that, that, that um, how do you say it, they'll be able to get onto their Titans, so the best way of defending against that is to actually attack inside their base but be a bit stealthy about it. So for example, what you're going to see here is you're going to see me just wait in here, in their base. I'm going to cap their flag as much as possible, just keep them thinking, keep them attacking me and stuff like that. So they're going to have to move around different areas of the actual map. You can see there's a Titan right here. I'm going to jump onto their own Titan. And then we're going to jump off. You can see we're actually getting hit marked to hell right now. We've got the kill and there you go. We end up getting killed off the roof side. The roof side has been taken out and we got a kill mark right here so we're just going to follow him. Unfortunately the art grenades don't pick up the kill there. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you up here. The guy trying to follow me, just being careful in case he does follow me completely. See the satchel charge nearly kills me there. And that picks up the victory guys, so that's 3 to nil. Capture the flag on a 4 on 6 situation for you. Like I said guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And here we go. We are going into the dropship evacuation now. As we're going into the dropship evacuation, you can see the pilot just absolutely taking out my Titan, but we'll clean him up with the cluster missile kill, and we'll get the double kill on the nuclear ejections, so that actually works out better for us. Now, we've got a nice little viewpoint right here. See the dropship's about to come in, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, and see if there's any pilots hanging around. Nope, there isn't, and there there is. So Digital Vane actually takes me out, which allows him to get the escape on the dropship evacuation. So that's it guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.